In 1965, Dr. James Lawson traveled to Vietnam with Alfred Hassler and an American delegation to meet with Thich Nhat Hanh and Thich Tri Quang to discuss nonviolent solutions to ending the war in Vietnam. In 1965, Thich Nhat Hanh wrote Dr. King and stated, In Vietnam, they call you a bodhisattva. In 1967, at New York's Riverside Church, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke about how the USA must undergo a radical revolution of values. Dr. King also spoke about the interconnectedness of poverty and social and economic justice, as well as ending the war in Vietnam. The title for our 2022 film, The Five Powers, Bodhisattvas of Peace, was inspired by these facts. Uh, he came to, uh, to Vietnam in 1965 with uh, a group of uh, pacifists. We helped them to understand the situation in Vietnam. And we were very glad to know that there were people uh, trying to help uh, end the war in our country. It is the American silence on this issue that I find particularly disturbing. How many more Vietnamese will have to die before the Americans cease their involvement? Venerable sir, I think you'd be hard pressed to find one among our delegation who doesn't desperately want the violence to end. Our hope is that by publishing our findings here, we can help to end the war. Gentlemen, the Buddhist position is not within any party. Everyone, you, the communists, the Viet Cong, all speak about peace, but victory and peace are not the same. To the Vietnamese people, you are the foreigners who have invaded Vietnam. And until you leave, it is inconceivable that the Vietnamese resistance, the violence, will cease. You have the initiative. I think you'll find that the American people are quite dedicated to the idea of peace with honor. Stopping the bombing and shooting the Vietnamese will not harm honor. Our faith embraces nonviolence, not because we lack weapons, but because we choose not to use them. The term nonviolence is a 20th century term. What Christians called it was non-resistance or passive resistance, or pacifism was the major term prior to that time. Gandhi invents the term nonviolence out of Sanskrit and Hindu and Hindi, and the non is not a negative. The non is a positive. And Gandhi then translated the term, which is ahimsa, to nonviolence.